So continuing on from the last video with SIRDS, putting it all together, what we've done so far, example four is where you get, we've got two SIRDS that look like they're not like SIRDS. But we've got to just wait because we might be able to do something to simplify one of them. First of all, list all the factor pairs of 12 and 75 separately. So there's the ones of 12 and there's the ones of 75. Now, what you want to do is have a look at, and in each one, choose the pair with the biggest square number. So it's going to be that one there and that one there for, uh, so, so it's going to be the 4 for the 12 and 25 for the 75. Both of those are squares. That's 2 squared, that's 5 squared. Okay, and then step 3 is going to simplify these. Write root 12 as root 4 times root 3, and root 75 is root 25 times root 3. 12 is 4 times 3. 25 times 3 is 75, so therefore the root of 75 is the root of 25 times the root of 3. Okay? So, this one there is we can write that as 2 root 3 and the other one we can write as 5 root 3. So now if you have a look what this simplifies to is we've actually root 12 times root take root 75 simplifies down to 2 root 3 take 5 root 3 and of course that just equals negative 3 root 3. So we had two thirds here that looked like there was nothing we could do to simplify them until we actually simplified each one. We couldn't directly just go, oh, well, that's the square root of 63 or something like that. We first had to do this simplification process, and then we saw that we ended up with two like thirds, and we could go on from there. Okay. Just moving on. Another example, example five. We're going to simplify that one. And once again, we've got two thirds which look like we're not going to be able to do anything with this. But remember, both of these are non-prime numbers, so they've got factors. We can simplify those expressions. So we're going to have a look at the factor pairs of 24 and 54 separately. And there are all those factors. Now, the biggest square here is going to be this number 4, and the biggest square over here is going to be 9. Okay, so here's the two biggest factors, so biggest squares. So we're going to rewrite those two as 24 equals root 4 times root 6. Sorry, the root square root of 24 equals the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. The square root of 54 equals the square root of 9 times the square root of 6. So we can rewrite those, pardon me, in those two ways. So... What we've got is 3 root 24 plus 2 root 54. So I have to just add in those factors because this was just root 24. What I had here was 3 root 24. And this is just root 54, this expression, but I had 2 root 54. So the next step is to put those bits back together. So I've got 3 times 2 root 6 plus 2 times 3 root 6. That equals 6 root 6 plus 6 root 6 which equals 12 root 6. So just going through that again, once again we had 3 root 24 plus 2 root 54. We worked out through this process that we could write the square root of 24 as 2 root 6. So 3 root 24 was then 3 times 2 root 6. Root 54 we could actually write as 3 root 6, but we had 2 root 54, so we had to add 2 lots of 3 root 6. That came to 3 times 2 root 6 plus 2 times 3 root 6. 6 root 6 plus 6 root 6 equaled 12 root 6. Okay, now we'll just quickly do thirds multiplying and dividing because this is actually a bit easier. Because um, root 5 times root 6, we can just say that's root 30. 
what we've been doing before is we've been going backwards. We've been looking at something like root 30 and noticing that 30 is the same as 5 root 6 and going from there. But here we can go the other way. Root 5 times root 6 is the same as the square root of 5 times 6, which is 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, so this one here, root five, root 8 times root 5, it's just going to be root 40. 2 times root 5 times minus root 2. Well, there's 2. Now, there's a minus 1 implicit there, so that's going to be minus 2 times root 10. Okay, the 2 times minus 1 and the 5 times the 2. Okay, just follow all of these examples down. 3 times 4. We don't go 3 times root 6 first because that's not going to get us anywhere. We first, these numbers out the front, we're going to give this as 12 and then under the square root side is 5 times 6 which is 30. So this is going to be 12 root 30. Keep going. Root 5 times root 5. Well, by definition, that's the square root of 25. Okay, because 5 times 5 is 25. But the square root of 25 is 5. So that's just 5. <clears throat> okay, important root 5. Okay, okay, that's sort of just what I just said then. Root 5 times 4 root 5 is going to be 4 times root 25. And root 25 is 5, so that's just going to come to root 20. So there's the case of a couple of thirds being multiplied together, and we end up with a non third Okay. Couple more examples. Root 3 times 2. Root 3 is going to be 2 times root 3 times root th 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. So that's going to be 2 times 3, which equals 6. And the last one, pardon me, root 3 times 7 times root 3. Well, the root 3 times root 3 just gives 3. So this is 7 times 3. That equals 21. Okay, dividing. It's just as easy, really. Thirds can be cancelled with thirds. Thirds, um, non-thirds can be cancelled with non-thirds. See what we mean by that. So root 10 over root 2 is the same as root 5, okay? Because, because they're both under a square root sign, we can just cancel the 10 with the 2. Okay, try another one. Okay, 6 root 15... Divided by 2 root 3. Well, the 6 and the 2 we can cancel and make that 3. Okay, because they're non surds so we can cancel them out. There's three lots of 2 and 6 and one lot of 2 there. And we can cancel these two. Okay, 5 divided by 3. Sorry, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So this is going to be 3 root 5. Okay, the 3 comes from 6 divided by 2. The root 5 comes from root 5 divided by root 3, or root, the square root of 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay, just continuing on, once again, 12 root 3 divided by 2 root 12. Well, 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 3 divided by 12, well, there's actually 4 3s in 12. So this is going to come to 6 divided by root 4. But root 4 is 2, so this is going to be 6 divided by 2. This should actually come, ultimately, there's that cancelling that they're doing. And that's, yeah. Okay, so there's the 6 over the root 4. Root 4 equals 2. 6 over 2 is 3. This one here. The root 3 and the root 12 come down to root 4 and once again root 4 is 2 so this is 1 over 2 times 2 equals 1 over 4 so this one cancels down and gives us ultimately a non third all right expanding brackets with thirds this is you know we've got to remember the foil when we do this so the first example remember we go to expand this bracket we go root 2 times root 7 and root 2 times negative root 5. Okay, so let's just see a step through this. So this equals root 14, take root 10. Root 2 times root 7 gives you root 14. 
root 2 times minus root 5 gives you minus root 10. Okay, and now if we're going to try and... Not, well, there's not anything we can really do anything more with that. Try this one here. This one here, 2 times 3 times root 4. Well, the 2 times 4 is going to give us root 6. So it's 3 lots of root 6. And this one here, root 2 times 2 root 10. The 2 and the 10, because they're both under a third sign, that's going to give us minus 2 root 20. And there you go. So did I say 2 times 4 gives us root 8? Sorry, I got that back to front. Um, root 2 times root 4 gives us the root 8. Sorry, and 3. Yeah. This one here, this example here, we're going to get 3 times 3 gives us 9. Root 2 times root 7 is going to give us 14. This one here, this root 3, 3 root 2 times 4, is this going to give us 12 root 2? Okay, there we go. So, you can have a go at that one yourself, what you think that one's going to be. I'll just give you a little bit of time to work it out. Just remember we have to multiply this by this and then this by this. And hopefully you've got a bit of an answer by now. And that will give you 12 take 24 root 6. So how did they get that? Well, root 2 times root 2 is 2. 2 times 6 is 12. That's where they've got that. And this one here, 6 times six root 2 times minus 4 root 3, uh, that's going to give us 24 times root 6. Okay, here's some more examples. We'll just keep going uh, to do this last one for now. This is minus 3 root 2 times root 5 root 2 plus 4. So the first is minus 3 times 5. That's 15. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. So it's going to give us minus 30 the first term, and this second term is going to give us minus 12 root 2, because minus 3 times 4 is minus 12, and we've got the root 2 sitting there as well. And there we go, that's where we get it. Okay, just going to stop there, and we'll come back to some more thirds in a minute.